Hello YouTube and Twitch Lightbringer here and Bloodborne done gave me some skills <coughs> at avoiding the BS. Bard's tale begins near White Orchard. It wow, that's really loud. Seeking his lover of the ore. The sorcerer is I can't Jennifer. skip this cutscene. She deluded him for years, um, but now seems just a few steps ahead. I'm going to tell you guys really n right now. This stream slash video is going to be a lot shorter than my me most recent ones. Namely because I think I'm fighting off a cold. I've got that lump of crap somewhere in my throat. Um, the wife is making me delicious chicken noodle soup because she's an awesome wife. And I love her so much because she's nice to me. And um, so I will play this until she... Because cause we had to do some dishes first. Um, but, so, I'll play this as long as I can, but the second she comes in, it's it's over. Um, and then I'll play this or Bloodborne tomorrow, and we will, we will go from there. Um, by the time you guys are seeing this video, the week of November 4th, Extra Life is November 3rd and 4th. I will be streaming with Jorel and Almost Nerds. Um, I will be either on their stream or mine the entire time. So it'll be from 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. Central Time, Saturday through Sunday. It's, it's going to be some some crazy shenanigans usually um last year we had a lot of fun i did some like food infomercials because i'm usually the foodie in the group and i'm like oh are you hungry try this delicious snack bar and the guys would all be laughing it, it was great um we're getting t-shirts um i will be wearing my light bringer hat it'll be great um but yeah so Let's. I know there was a trick back when the game first came out for cow hides, and they did not like you doing that. But I'm like, if I can do it to cows, can I do it to like pigs and chickens? And the cow trick is pretty much if you kill too many cows in X amount of time, the game's like, ha ha, level 20 monsters attacking you, and you're like, okay. Not attacking any more cows this week. Yeah, I, I get it. Which is fine. I'm having fun just, like, running around and being a witcher. Um, so, for those of you who've watched my YouTube channel, I did try playing the witcher a while ago for, for a YouTube Let's Play. But since most of my videos are only, like... 15 to 30 minutes long on YouTube that aren't like rehashed streams. Um, it it didn't work out well. That and I sucked at the combat. Which, since I'm playing on the hardest difficulty and this is my first Witcher game and I had no clue what I was doing. But, um, the combat system here is a lot like, um,. It's very Bloodborne-esque. Um, not that it's, like, the whole thing is Bloodborne. But pretty much it's very risk-reward combat. And I have been doing a lot of that in Bloodborne. Um, most games, you give me a sword, I dodge roll maybe once or twice, and then beat the crap out of everything while I tank the hits. But on this difficulty mode, on on The Witcher 3's Death March, um, it's it's very much whoops, wrong sword. Okay. It's very much discipline. That is what you one or two quick hits, just like my skill build in Bloodborne, and then two or three running like a little crazy person until the enemy gives me an opening again. So um. Right now, we are chasing our old flame, Yennefer, which was in the intro part that I couldn't skip, so I'm sorry if I was talking over it. There, There's dialogue 
I always love subtitles because I can usually read faster than the characters talk. Um, which I always love in a game because I can read what they're about to say and then just be able to enjoy myself and be immersed in the, like, what's happening. Um, so yeah, so I'm Geralt. Geralt? He is a freaking cool looking dude. I mean, he is called the White Wolf. I've got a nice white moon back there. I don't know what the blue smoke's for. That's somebody's vaping or something, I guess. Um, but right now, the only guy that seems to know anything about where Yennefer went, because I lost her trail in the... This is technically all tutorial area. Says, hey, help kill this griffin in the area, because I don't have the resources to do it safely with my people. Take out this griffin. I'll hook you up. Or we, we, can, we can further discuss the topic. So, I am here to talk to a senior witcher about, hey, I know, hey, Av, hello, ah, hello, husband, soup will be ready in 10 minutes, would you like me to deliver it to you while you stream? You can, Av, because I've already told the stream that this will be a super short stream because of soup and love, so... I will probably just do this part, and I think right after this is the quest to go kill the griffin, and I do not feel up to killing a griffin right now with with my voice the way it is, so I don't want to do that off stream. Um, okay, so yeah, Vesemir is, is an older version of me, but I'm still way cooler, although I do like that design on his swords. Like, he's got wolves on his blades. That's, that's pretty cool. Cutscene. Yes. Go kill all the What things. is it, wolf? been busy with the griffin contract and uh. all right i'm gonna just say right now i'm in love with Geralt's voice Geralt, like he's learned some things it's a male had its nest in the vulpine woods the nilf guardians burned the woods down killed its mate smashed their eggs thought they'd fixed things <laughs> it's always the same Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters Apparently, worse. Griffin's mate for life, and these Fine. ones are both pretty old, if so they've been ready, married say the a word long time. We'll get to work. Um, but apparently, this Griffin's literally just out for blood, because it's super pissed. Its entire family got murdered by these idiots that thought they knew better. Um, if they just sent for the witchers, the witchers would have gotten it done so much more efficiently. Oh my gosh, I'm not, no, I'm not ready to set the trap. Later, Vesemir. I don't want, I don't want to fight a griffin. So, let's, real quick, oh, there's a signpost up ahead. Northern women bathe but once every three <laughs> That is like the only line I keep hearing from these guys. Did you know... Rumor says it's like, bro, shut up. <laughs> I have already pretty much unlocked the entirety of the map. So let's let's go talk to the herbalist because she is next to my character, and I'm guessing Vesemir and a future characters. She's my favorite character. And I understand within the first couple hours why everybody is like, yeah, CD Projekt Red knows how to make a game. Um, This character has a full-on backstory. She's a character you may never meet. Um, There is a quest to go and find an herbalist so she can teach you how to harvest a type of herbs you can use it to track down the griffin or lure the griffin or whatever but if you just accidentally find the buckthorn on your own that part of the quest goes away and you don't have to track her down anymore the game assumes oh yeah uh you may not have known how to track it down but you know how to use the herb because you're a witcher like you are a badass you know how to do the job. Um, 
And I love that. Um, because then you can talk to her, and she doesn't mention the Buckthorn at all. She just goes into, like, the regular stuff she would have talked about. And I love that. Um, this is an NPC that you may or may not come into contact with, and they gave her a full backstory, voiced lines, she's got personality. Um, I think she's pretty hot for, like, just some side character. It's like, why, why'd you... Why'd you take the time to make her look good? Um, and I love it. I mean, I'm not even really playing the main story at this point. I'm just here. Um, I think now I'm just... Winestone? What is... Brianna? What? Okay, these are things that weren't here the first time I came by, but okay. Fat. Okay. I don't. The only thing I don't like is the whole. Yeah, you just barge into him. Um, most doors, you just you walk at them and he like pushes them open, but they always kind of snap open. But I mean, look at her. Her character model looks good. Like she looks like the girl that you wake up. You're like, oh, are you an angel? Like, you, you've been healed after a major battle or something. You don't know this girl. You're new in the area. Maybe you've got amnesia because it's a cliche. And you talk to her. Yes. Look at her. I mean, she's pretty. She's got necklaces. She's got... Any herbs you're willing to she sell? has a backstory. I'm, I'm not going to go into it because it's fun. I am... Okay, so yeah, this is brand new stuff for me. I am going to sell probably a crap ton of my herbs. Because herbs I recently found out via the power of Google. The great gene Google. That for the most part, mo most of your alchemy stuff, you don't need to have like... Me, I'm in the habit from Skyrim and most of those other games. Just grab everything that's not nailed down. I really don't need to be doing that apparently. Especially with the herbs, unless I know it's an herb I need, like, right then and there, or it's very rare. Um, so, here, I'm gonna get rid of some of these. Like, yeah, I don't need 32 of this thing. Boop. Like, these blue ones, this one that says it's, like, magical. Like, yeah, let, let's not sell that. Or like some of these that are, like, I know I had to kill something to get these. So we're going we're gonna to hold off on that. Um, Quen sign intensity glyph, I really don't need. I don't know what this is. It's really freaking expensive, though. So let's hold off. Um, apparently, out after the tutorial area, there's a lot more stuff I can buy. So I'm trying to save money. Um, apparently money is really hard to get in this game, and I believe it. Um, sorry, my throat is getting really dried out. Pig hide. Oh, I can sell her some food. Um, I am gonna say, um, I have the Blood and Wine, like, the complete edition on Xbox One. Um, what I would advise getting for your very first skill. Farewell. Is if you get that version, get nope, get this skill. Gourmet, it's in the brown ones. It kinda breaks the game for Death March. Um Normally, after every fight, you can go into your meditation menu, and your character, pretty much the, um, if you've ever played a Fallout or a, um, Elder Scrolls game, it's pretty much the wait in place for, like, X amount of hours. Except when you do it in The Witcher, you also heal all your HP back, so serious fights aren't as serious when you know, hey, the second I'm done with this fight, I can heal. <coughs> <laughs> well, in Death March, you don't heal when you meditate. Um, so food is pretty much the only way of healing I know of. There's apparently one 
defensive skill that also heals you whenever you take damage, which is awesome. But I don't know how long that's going to last. Um, most food items last between 5 and 20 seconds. So being able to have passive health regen for 20 minutes, and this is real time. Um, this isn't game time. Like, no. This is the one that apparently will, like, it lets you make a shield and blocking drains your energy. But damage is given back to you in the form of health. So, A, you're not taking damage. B, you're healing like a boss. So, uh, it's, it's super cool. I want, I want to find a fight, like, anywhere. I don't know if that's a thing, though. Nope, I do want the world map, because I want to see where is not civilization. You know what, we're going to just place a marker over there and start running that way. Let's see what happens. And let's hope I don't, like, get horribly murdered. I really don't need to keep grabbing herbs. Except that one. No, that's not herb. Okay. I was like, that's a plant I haven't seen in a while, so maybe I should grab it, but it's not herbs. Oh. Okay, is there anything around? Ooh, yes, there are. What I love about the Witcher senses is you have very animal-like senses, kind of like Wolverine. If you go into Witcher mode and just kind of look in the direction of one of these little sound bubbles... You get kind of like zoomed in on the heat on what they're saying. Oh, wolves! No. And a necker? What's a necker? Let's put on the shield. It doesn't heal me yet. Oh, he does front flips. Okay, the wolf is probably the more serious threat for me. Because wolves attack really... Although that Necker really... No. Oh, jeez. But, like, here... Oh, don't... Don't you run from me, buddy. Where'd he go? And there is a faster, like, kind of little sidestep. I prefer it. A lot of people online are like, yeah, don't do that. Okay, so we fought a brand new enemy. I'm not looking forward to fighting Neckers in the future. Because, again, I've gone through most of this entire area and I've never fought one before. Um, that was not fun to fight. I mean, it was, it was fun to fight. The game is fun. But you noticed a lot of the combat was very, at least in the early levels, um, gourmet is going to be really helpful. It lets your healing items stretch further. Like you see that little kind of peach looking plant thing in my top left. Oh goody, I think that's more Neckers. So let's back out. I need to read the bestiary on Neckers. Ogroids? What the heck's an Ogroid? I don't have anything that's good against Ogroids. Neckers. Oh, jeez. Rare breed of Neckers known as Fukas? Mother Fukas? Like, is that is that a thing now? Yeah, I don't have anything that's good against Neckers. So if I've got to fight more Neckers, this, this could be interesting. Although they are apparently weak to my poison stuff. So that's nice. Am I out of potions? No, I think I unequipped my potions. Yeah, I unequipped my potions. Smart. 
a smart cookie. So let's put back on Swallow. Because um, Swallow is super useful. I don't need that one right now. Because that is going to like poison the bejesus out of me. Oh, I think that's the wife. Um, Alright guys, let's... Come on in, hun. You can't hear her because she keeps staying really far away when she talks. But that's better. Oh, yay, Sue. Delicious chicken soup. Now nah, that's my wife, right, guys? Husband points. Husband points. Alright, so you know what? We're gonna end this because this is way shorter than I thought it would be. Um, let's put on the swallow. I'm here just doing things weird. Yeah, so let's let's re-eat some meat. Bam, I now have like 19 minutes and 58 seconds, which is awesome. Swallow makes any healing I'm getting way like oh jeez. That was not Oh no. Uh, I just poisoned myself so I can hurt him harder. That that was stupid. Heal. No, not heal. Actually, swallow. Bam. My healing is way faster. But see, I have noticed an issue. Um, the dodge roll drains stamina, but the quick step doesn't. So it's really, it's really a, do you need more, whoa, what is that? Man, I'm getting used to, I should just like wander off into the wilderness more often, shouldn't I? And, alright, so uh, let's go into my map. And, wow, I barely went anywhere like the town i was just as literally right there so uh yeah is this saying that there are still places i haven't found cuz i thought i'd done everything already but i think Apparently later in the game I have to come back through here, so it could be there are areas that are locked off to me because the game devs knew, hey, don't don't be stupid. <laughs> You'll do that thing that you you gamers do where you you try bite off all the level twenty quests and you will die horribly and then you'll blame us because the game's too Alright, so uh I'm gonna start moseying back the way I came. Double left stick press to get my horse. Oh, I can sheath my sword, buddy. Let's go! Yes, let's. Alright, guys, so this has been a 20-something minute Ooh. video. <laughs> um... I'm probably gonna fight the griffin. Um, I feel like these videos are gonna be more like updates of my progress, more so than like me doing the game for two hours. Um, Cause there's a lot of stuff I don't know. I wanna at least be a little familiar with, with what's going on around me before I, like there I found brand new items, which I do need to figure out what that mutagen thing was. Like what's, what's the little blue mutagen do? I don't know. Um, again, the 
Extra Life will be November 3rd and 4th. It is a weekend. 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. Starting Sunday, ending... Starting Saturday, ending Sunday. Um, the plan is the whole group that we are gaming with will pretty much not sleep at all that whole 24 hours. We're going to push ourselves... Extra Life is where we will try to raise money for Children's Miracle Network in Temple, Texas. So, help us help kids. Um, I will probably not be recording a YouTube stuff that weekend. Um, if I stay home, like maybe I'm sick, I will still try my best to stream the full 24 hours. If not, you heard it first here, so ha. Um, so yeah, guys, with that, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Lights out.